Welcome to Pray Along. Thank you for joining us. I would like to share a word of encouragement with you from the Word of God. John chapter 11 says, So when Mary came to the place where Jesus was, she saw him and fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? Jesus, they said to him, Lord, come and see. Verse 35 says, Jesus wept. So the Jews were saying, See how he loved him. This is a story that comes from the book of John, a popular story about Lazarus and Jesus performing a miracle on him. But I want to focus on for, uh, for us for our prayer long tonight on verse 35 where it says Jesus wept. This is an interesting verse because what we see in this verse is we get a glimpse into the heart of God. We get a glimpse into the heart of Jesus. Jesus had seen Mary weeping because Lazarus was dead. But what's interesting in the text is that Jesus knew that he was going to lay, raise Lazarus from the dead. And have, knowing this information, he could have told Mary, Mary, do not cry. It's going to be okay. Don't cry. Lazarus is going to live again. But the text tells us that, that as Mary cried, Jesus was moved in his spirit and Jesus began to cry. Brothers and sisters, how beautiful it is to see that Jesus actually cried. What does this mean for you and I today? Is that we have a Savior, we have a God who cries when we cry. He understands the things that we are going through. He understands the challenges that we face. Not just understands it, but He experiences the same emotions that we experience. This is encouraging to know that this is who Jesus is. And this is who the Father is because Jesus really came to this earth, yes, to save us from sin, but also to give us a clear picture of who the Father is. And so in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 4 verse 15, the Bible says, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things, just as we are yet without sin. Verse 16 says, Therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace for help at our time of need. Friends, this is beautiful, that we have a God who not only understands what we are going through, but He sympathizes with us. He cries with us when we cry. He feels the anguish and the heartache and the broken hearts that we experience also. And so, brothers and sisters, I do not know what you are going through. I do not know what your challenges are. I do not know what your experience is. I do not know where you are at this very moment in your life. I do not know what you lack or what uh, your circumstance is. But what I do know and I, and I want to share with you today is that you can trust in Jesus. You can place your complete weight on Him because He not only understands, but He cries with you. He experiences the emotions that you feel too. And so I invite you, as we bow our heads to pray, to commit yourself to Jesus and to place your trust and your faith in Him. So let us bow our heads as we pray to Him. Father in heaven, we thank you that you've sent Jesus to die for us. Not just to save us, Father, from our sins, but Lord, we serve a God who understands the things that we go through in this life. It is not easy to be in this world, Lord. There are challenges and difficulties that we are going through at this very moment. Perhaps there are people that are going through family issues, Lord. The family unit has been broken up. And their heart's cry is that the family will be restored again. There may be a parent, a mother or a father that may have a child that may have strayed away and turned their backs on them. Father, you are God who sees their, their, their heart's cry. 
and you are able to restore that child back to their parents. There may be financial, financial issues, Father, that people are facing in their homes. Father, you are God who owns everything and you are able to provide for their needs. So may you provide what is needed for your children. There may be a husband and a wife that may be going through marital difficulties, Father. We ask that your spirit may be with them in a special way and that you may restore that marriage, Father. At this time, we ask that you'll forgive us if we have failed you in any way. We ask for your spirit to be our guiding force, that you may guide and lead us in this life. We want to give you all praise, glory and honor for all that you've done for us in the past, for the things you are doing for us now, and we praise you also for the things that you will do for us in the future. And we want to tell you, Father, that we love you, and we are grateful that you are our God. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.